Hey everybody, today we're going to be looking at the stop button. Yesterday we looked at the start button. Today we're looking at the stop button. And of course, if you're just tuning into this channel for the first time, or if you've been coming back some but you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe because we're going to be doing a bunch of videos the rest of this month. And I want to make sure that you get access to those. So subscribe, hit that notification bell, but just make sure you're coming back because we're going to be doing a lot of cool things. Now, this is something that I explored pretty recently for the first time not realizing how nuanced the stop button really is when we're here. And it actually, this is the stop button right at the top here. It says go to the beginning when you're there, but this is what Logic calls the stop button. It has the functionality of stopping when you're doing this. Most of the time what I see are people using the space bar, which isn't exactly the, the stop button. It does function that way, but it's really a a play pause type button. But it doesn't actually engage the stop functionality. And there's something really important about the stop functionality which works really well in conjunction with the play functionality we looked at yesterday. So check that video out. Um, but here's the play functionality. I've got all of it turned off. That means that when it plays, it starts right from where the playhead is. It doesn't matter what's going on. It doesn't move around, doesn't act unexpected. I saw you sitting there. And when I push stop, it stops. Or the play button again, it pauses. Now, with the stop button, we have a number of different options. We can say stop. We can actually come through and have it stop and go to the left locator. You have to have one of these selected. So we can go to the left locator, or we can go to the last locate position. So this is kind of like the play button, except that with the play button, when you choose one of these options, so say you have it set to play from last locate position, the big difference is, is that with that one, the playhead will stay exactly where it is until you push play and then it will go there. If you set the stop button to do this, then it will go there when you stop so you can see exactly where you're gonna be starting the next time. So a little bit of a different nuance there, but I'm just gonna leave it on stop for now. I just want it to stop. And I'm using the zero on the keypad most of the time for this, just because I, I like having it as an actual stop button. That's the default key command. But what I wanna do is show you something that's really cool with this functionality. I've got the top two turned on, jump between marquee and project start if stopped, and jump between cycle and project start if stopped. So these are the two in the hierarchy that will take place. But with the cycle, check this out. So I've got this just playing anywhere. If I hit the O key on the keypad, when it's stopped, so it has to be currently stopped, it'll snap right to the beginning of my cycle. If I hit it again, it goes to the beginning of the project. And I can keep on going back and forth, toggling between those two positions. If it's playing and I push that, it won't go to either of those places. It will just stop it. And then I can either keep on going Tears pouring out. or once it stopped, I can snap to one of those two locations using that same stop key. So why is that useful at all? First of all, I have my cycle or snap to cycle turned off, play from cycle in my play button. Now, if you have that turn on, which is the default for most people, and I push play, That's when we begin to... it'll play straight from the cycle, and you'll find yourself constantly turning that on and off if you want to play from someplace else or whatever. So now you can leave the cycle on, and it'll never snap there automatically. But I can push play. That's when we... Let's turn that back off. Now I can push play anywhere and it'll play from there. And when it's stopped, if I want to get to there really easily, I just push the stop key and it'll take me to the beginning of the cycle. That's when we begin. It will cycle this still. So, I mean, if it gets to the end of the cycle, it will do that in a loop because the cycle is activated still. That's when we begin. And real easily, I can go back to the beginning of the project too. So I can get around in a lot more places, a lot more efficiently when I'm working on a specific thing than with just the, the space bar controlling my transport. The other options here, there are a few more. 
we can jump between selected region and the project start, or we can do the last locate position in the project start. So we have these options here plus the top three. So really four different options that are added functionality and then three different characteristics for what happens when you use the stop key. Okay, that's it for this. I just wanna look at that. Of course, just as a reminder, there are a number of other key commands that you can use to what happens or to stop and move to a certain place. Those aren't directly part of the stop button. It's just an additional set of tools which will give more ways to stop your project. Who knew you needed this many ways to be able to do that? But this one in particular, that stop button going back and forth is so useful when working in projects. Okay, hope you're having a great day. We are doing another video coming right up tomorrow, so check it out. Keep on coming back.